Broken Hearts Radio presents, live from Atlanta, Georgia, Hollywood South, with host Dan Blazer. Welcome to Hollywood South. My name is Dan Glazer. This is a new show, Al. How hey, are you doing, Al? No way. No but you way. just got back from where? Where'd you get? Amsterdam back? in the UK. With the SOS band. Yes. Wow. You got jet lag? No. Actually, I just you know just. That's amazing. You know, I didn't think you'd make anyway, it. So you were. Know. That's amazing. Yeah. And then you're heading to San Diego, San Diego with the SOS and band. And Bakersfield. Very good. So anyway, we put together this Hollywood South show. We're just kind of playing with this. There's so many, so much going on with music, film, TV in this city. It was time maybe to do a little. What I'm trying to do is accumulate the, all the movie news that's going on for about a month and then put it on the show. And it's very hard to catch it all because uh, I am a procrastinator. I only got on the internet two days before doing this show to research it, my, it's pages and pages, it's endless, it's endless. So let's start from the very beginning. I want to give a shout out to two, two, one movie and one TV show, even though they're not from the South. The first one is a movie called La La Land. Do you got that? Yeah. La La Land. A very close friend of mine, Dr. John Hernandez in Austin, Te Hernandez in Austin, Texas, daughter is in this movie. She's the one in the red dress. Her name is Callie Hernandez. And she's in the very beginning of the movie. The beginning of the movie is spectacular. And uh, so she's in this movie. She's also going to be in the next Aliens movie. And she's on a TV show with Nick Nolte called Graves. I think it's on uh, Netflix. And uh, she's really an up-and-coming actress. She's uh, right now reading for a lot of other movies. But if you see La La Land, Callie is in the red de dress. And she already knew how to sing, but she had to kind of learn how to dance for this. It's a very good movie. So go see that. The next movie is Jeremy Miller. Well, it's not a movie. It's a TV show. Jeremy Miller, Third Eye. I met Jeremy Miller here in Atlanta. Even though this is not a Southern movie, he's very close friends with some friends of mine, Heather and Andy Turner. And I met Jeremy at a charity event here in Atlanta. Very, very nice guy. Uh, he's going to be in a movie, a TV show called The Third Eye. And The Third Eye is about... Um, it's basically about an individual, it's a true story about an individual, I think he's kind of psychic. You know, when you have a third eye, you have mm -hmm. a lot of intuition mm -hmm. and insight. And that's about what the show is about. And, but it's actually a true story. But what I would like you to do is go like the third eye page on Facebook page. Go there and like this. Like it, like it, like it, like it. But Jeremy was a child actor, you remember, from Growing Pains. Let's go to the next picture. So Jeremy, there's little Jeremy with Brad Pitt. Before Brad Pitt was Brad Pitt. Let's go to another picture. In, the grow, in Growing Pains. There's Jeremy with Leonardo DiCaprio before Leonardo DiCaprio was Leonardo DiCaprio. So there were some big stars. And I want to uh, just uh, take a little moment to mention Alan Thicke, who passed away just recently. And, and Alan Thicke uh, was a very talented man and very close with uh, Jeremy Miller. They remained very close even after the show. So I just want to mention him for a moment. So go like Jeremy Miller, uh, The Third Eye on Facebook. Like it, like it, like it. Okay, next go to the next picture. Oh, and there's Jeremy and his lovely wife, Joni. Lovely wife, Joni. Let's go to the next one. There's Jeremy with Andy, his good buddy Andy here in Atlanta. The next one. And Heather. So even though it's not a Southern movie, it, we're related because their good friends live here. Let's go to the next one. And there's, there's Ricky Muse, who's in a lot of movies here in Atlanta. Jeremy and I don't know who that guy is. Dan. We met at the charity event. So go like Third Eye. Very good. Now let's go to the next one. Okay. Okay. So there are so much to cover and the stuff that's being filmed here in Atlanta. And uh, uh, Spider-Man was being filmed. I think they're still filming. I don't think they've wrapped it up. But the interesting thing, we have another show called Comics on Parole, and we go to the next picture of Spider-Man. And uh, we had a comic on here who was an extra in Spider-Man, and they heard his voice. He had a New York ac accent, so they had him gave him a speaking role, uh, playing a reporter. And he came on the show, but he couldn't announce that he was in Spider-Man, so he had to call it Schmider-Man. <laughs> and they were filming with all the 
Avengers, but they had it called the Smavengers. He wasn't allowed to say what the name was, but he got a speaking role in that movie, and he was on this show. Let's go to the next one. This is Diary of a Wimpy Kid that I believe is filming right now. Uh, I'm trying to go over the movies that are filming right now or have recently finished filming. So Diary of a Wimpy, Wimpy Kid, this is a, The Long Haul. It's a sequel. And our friend Ricky Muse. Go to Ricky Muse's. Uh, at our buddy Ricky Muse has been on trip on uh, Comics on Pro many, many times, is in this movie, or it was in the previous one. Ricky's in a lot. Of, there's Ricky again. Ricky is in a lot of movies in Atlanta, and we're going to be talking about more because there's about four movies that he's in. He comes on Comics on Pro quite a bit. Let's go to the next one. Uh, MacGyver's going to be filming. It's filming. I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a regular TV series here in Atlanta that's filming right now. Uh, the next one, movie that film was The Party with Melissa McCarthy and her husband. By the way, Ricky Moose was in the movie Tammy. We'll go back to Ricky's picture again. Okay. Was in the movie Tammy with Melissa McCarthy. So that was a good movie, too. Now let's go to the movie after uh, The Party called Ozark. Ozark is uh, with Jason Bateman. And once again, Ricky Muse, go back to Ricky Muse. Is going to be in this TV show. It's good. He's going to be a, a reoccurring role in the movie uh, Ozark, filmed here in Atlanta with Jason Bateman. In fact, Ricky was in another movie with Jason Bateman called uh, The Christmas Office Christmas Party, and I think that's still in serious in uh, movie theaters now. Let's go to another one, Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow also films in Atlanta. By the way, Ricky Muse. Go back to Ricky Muse. Was also got a part in Sleepy Hollow, and it was a part, it was going to be a regular part. However, they changed it to a one part where he gets his head chuck, cut off, but then they just changed it to a dummy getting his head cut off. So he was supposed to be in Hollow. Let's go to the next one, which is the originals, is filming here. Now let's go to the next one. Vampire Diaries is filming here. That, I, this is Vampire Diaries' latest, uh, last uh, season, I believe. In fact, I was with my son over at the Whole Foods on Ponce de Leon, and the guy on the right, the bad brother, was there. Very nice guy. We went up, uh, my son went up and talked to him. Very, he was buying some flowers and some candies for some girl he was going out. Probably the girl in the middle he was going out with, but I don't know for sure. Uh, Stranger Things 2 is the next one. That's a good movie. If you've seen Stranger Things, you'll like this movie. I believe it's filming now, or it's finished up filming. Um, that's a, that was a really good show. And then everyone loves The Walking Dead, um, which I hear is a very addictive show. <laughs> but it's it's uh, filming too. But I think I don't think it's the last season. But that's filming here in Atlanta too. So there's really so much going on. I haven't even touched it. We have Daryl Rhodes is coming on, uh, a, a musician, a comic, uh, a composer for the movies, and he just recently worked on as an extra on the Tanya Harding movie. He's going to tell us about that. And I did mention Tanya Harding movie is filming here. Also, there's a movie filming in Savannah, Georgia, about the who was it that took the axe and killed her parents. Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden movie is filming here, and that's the, I can't think of her name, but she's in the uh, the other vampire movie where half of them were wolves or half of them, I can't think of her name. What's it called? Daylight, Dawn Night? I can't remember. So anyway, it brings us um, to Dr. Uh, Evil right here from um, from Austin Powers. No, actually, this is Brian T. Shirley. And uh, we're going to get Brian T. Shirley because he's kind of our roving reporter because he's going to cover some of the movies and things outside of Atlanta. And it basically, uh-oh. Basically, uh, we, we're just having him call in to talk about a movie that he's in. Hey, Brian, can you hear me? Yep. Brian, you awake, yep, Brian? I hear you loud and clear. Very good. Brian, we're on just very briefly here. You were going to tell us about a movie that you were in. And it was filmed in Charleston, right? Called Inside Ben, correct? Southern tie uh, is that I'm in it. It was not filmed in Charleston. <laughs> Where was it filmed? I, Go to the uh, next Ohio, question. actually. It, you went all the way to uh, Ohio? Okay. And what is no, this? No, no, I did voiceover work for Dan on my old radio show, BTS radio show, uh, that he sent me the script of what he wanted me to do, and I actually did it in the studio uh, there, and I play a morning uh, radio show host, and then I did another voiceover for it, and it's been so long, I don't remember actually what the other part was, but it is premiering February 25th, uh, right on the real Maru productions.com. You can see it there. I put the website on your uh, Facebook page, Dan, 
Okay, so you so didn't act in this. You did dope. voiceover work for it. Is that correct? Yeah, I did voiceover work for it, and he, he's uh, starting to catch up a lot of movies. I went out in uh, Denver and did a short role for uh, his other movie, Cloud Games, Road to Chronolathon. Okay. And uh, so he's, he's got a lot of projects. He's won some awards for some stuff he did earlier, and he's a comedian, too. That's how I met him. We worked do you, do you together and everything. Do you have a love scene in this movie? What's that? Do you have a love scene in this movie? Uh, if I have a love scene, you can't see it. <laughs> Do it voiceover. Work. So, uh, you have no, a solo actually, love scene. This is, in a, movie. <laughs> this is a psychological thriller about a guy that has agoraphobia, and mm -hmm. it, that's about the worst. Uh, you have to check out the trailer, folks. Oh, it's really? an R-rated movie, so just so you know, check out the trailer. And if you want to see me, I'm going to be in Aniston, Alabama, February 23rd to the 26th at the Happy Hour Comedy Club, and I'll put that poster up. up uh, on your page. Yeah, too. put the poster yeah. up on my page, but uh, by Facebook page. Sure. Well, thank you very and much, I'll, Brian. This is, uh, huh? Yeah, this segment is ETS Entertainment Corner, and I'll be on here every time you do a show and bring some other stuff of uh, what's going on in the independent movie world. Very good. Talk to you later, Brian. Go back to bed. All righty. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, bye. So, so anyway, that was Brian T. Shirley. One other thing I want to briefly uh, mention is that. Um, there's all kinds of work, really, for especially comics who work at night uh, to get a lot of work in the daytime, and that's in the extra scene. There's also there's all kinds of extra people. They need extras very, very badly in this city. There's seven different uh, casting agencies that handle extras. One is New Life Casting, Extra Castings in Atlanta, Roselock Casting, Hilton Casting, uh, Tammy Smith Casting, Marinella Hume casting and Pierre casting. There's all kind of extra casting work, and so there's no reason not to be in the film industry. If you have nothing else to do the day, you could be an extra in the film. Maybe you'll even be discovered. Oh, by the way, Al, 30, about 40 years ago, I had a friend here that was, her name was Sylvia Mays. She was a casting agent, and she had someone call me, Shay Griffith, who's a big casting agent here in Atlanta. I'm not an actor, never have been an actor, but I was always available to be an extra. And Shay called me up. She wouldn't remember me, but I remember this. About 40 years, 35 years ago, to be an extra in a Chainsaw Massacre movie. Uh, it was a spoof of the Chainsaw Massacre movie. And, you know, I, I turned it down. I couldn't do it. But you know who the stars were? Matthew McConaughey and Renee Zellweger. And I saw it 30 years later. It was terrible. But anyway, I shouldn't have turned it down. But uh, I'm going to show a clip. And then I was in another a monster movie. Sylvia Mays put me in. Really bad. The worst movie of the year. I'll play a clip the next show. It, but I've never been an actor. So anyway, what we want to do now is briefly, oh, yeah, briefly take it to Atlanta Comedy Theater commercial and then bring up our first and only guest. American Hearts Radio Entertainment Network is proud to announce that Van Glazer's Comics on Parole Open Mouth Night will be held on Wednesday night at Atlanta Comedy Theater in Atlanta, Georgia, where you could get glazed every week with Dan Glazer. Dan has a great success with his Comics on Parole Open Mouth Night. Now fate has brought Comics on Parole to a larger stage at the Atlanta Comedy Theater. Come see the Comics on Parole open mic at the Atlanta Comedy Theater. This is a show up, go up for 45 minutes before the scheduled shows. 4650 Jimmy Carter Boulevard, number 114B. Go to www.atlcomedytheater.com. And don't forget to check out Comics on Parole web TV series every first and third Tuesday of every month at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on www.americanheartsradio.com web TV. While our first guest comes to the stage, I want to briefly talk about uh, an app called, well, TuneIn Radio on iPhones, your iPads, your laptops. It's called TuneIn Radio. Go to the next. It's called American, um, the movie thing. There it is. Movie Ticket Radio on TuneIn Radio. It's on. It, go to. Get, there's a TuneIn Radio app that you can get on your laptop, your iPhone, your iPad, any of your smartphones. And if you're in, really into movies, music of the movies, this is a really good show called Movie Ticket Radio. It has all kinds of theme songs and soundtracks of movies. Movie Ticket Radio on TuneIn Radio. On TuneIn Radio. Now, speaking of music, right now I want to welcome to the stage Mr. Daryl Rhodes, a comic, a musician, a Thank singer, you. and a lover of all kinds of women. Good to see you, Daryl. Thank you. Good to Thank see you. you. Thank you. So one of the reasons we're having Daryl on, and Daryl has really, uh, if you Wikipedia, Daryl, he has all a very vast resume, worked with James Brown. He's had his own band. He produces CDs, DVDs, all kinds of things, and he's very big in the movie industry. He's written music for the movies, and that's primarily why I want to have him on. There's so many independent films being filmed in Atlanta. Some of you independent film 
people should contact Daryl to write some music for him, for your movies, because he writes them very quickly but very well. And they're very, very good. You recently did a, D a DVD, uh, uh, Southern Not Stupid. Yeah, oh, well, CD. Um, CD. I mean, I, well, I don't know what he did with that. I, he just asked me to write some music, and I did. And, yeah, and, we're going to uh, show that in a minute. the studio and produce it. But before we get started, well, aren't you working on a movie yourself? Uh, I actually just did a, uh, an extra thing. You were talking about because uh, I had time on my hands, and I cannot sit still. So, right. Uh, I was on the Tanya Hart movie. Did about 16 hours in one day uh, with Margot Robbie. And she didn't look anything like Margot Robbie, right? No, she looked like Tanya Harding. You know? And who was not a real... Pro well, she wasn't too bad looking. She just uh, hey, all, a tough all, chick. All cats are gray in the dark, dude. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, But you had a lot of fun walking. We're going. Prison talk. Uh -huh. 16 hours? What yeah. time did it start? Um, it, well, you know, it, it's really weird because Atlanta traffic, uh, you have a window where you have to get out, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, I actually left the house at uh, 4.30 and was down there by a little after 6. And... Uh, didn't have to be on the set until 8.30. We sat there drinking coffee and eating bad food for about three or four hours before they called us into this ice rink. Right, uh, right. Making Coliseum. So no matter how well you're dressed, you're not prepared to sit around ice for 16 hours. Right. And, uh, whew, man, <laughs> it's, you know, you just have to be patient, you know. It's was like, it cold? Oh, it's freezing. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it, got, it got real cold. But uh, you have written... Um, uh, some music for the movies. What movie did you... Well, there was a song, um, one of my songs was used in a movie, uh, it was a Jim Varney movie called Fast Food. Right. And that was used, and of course, one of my songs was in the uh, documentary The Sex Pistols, and um, then written songs for that other artists had picked up, you know, but um, yeah, I, I I have so many songs that, because uh, I have 12 albums, and I have two or 300 songs that I'm always working on at any right. given time. But, you know, you write something and go, God, this would be perfect for a commercial or this or that. A lot of people used to shy away from it, from having their music in commercials. Now it's it's probably one of the primary ways to make money. Okay, so recently a comic, uh, Mark Evans, came to you. He wrote lyrics for a uh, song called Southern Not Stupid, and right. you wrote the mu music. Right, yeah. When he, uh, as we discussed before, because Mark's a, a friend of mine, he's a great guy. Uh -huh. And uh, when you're not a songwriter, you'll you'll write a line, and maybe you're, you're not paying attention to rhythm, or right. you know. So it was a matter of just sitting there going, okay, this is too many syllables, this that, and you're working around. And I would call him up, and he was just so easy to work with. He said, oh, that's great, yeah, yeah. And so you know, I started hearing a melody in my head, and uh, a couple of days later, we were in the studio, and I I have a select bunch of guys I like to work with. And uh, Tommy Strain, who used to be in a band called Starbuck, has uh -huh. a song called Moonlight Feels Right. Uh -huh. uh, he's one of my, my favorite guys to work with. Very even-tempered, very talented. Uh -huh. uh, he played guitar and bass right. on that. I played drums and sang all the harmonies and everything. And, and then uh, Marty Currens, we did it in his studio, and, and he played keyboards. So it was just really easy to knock out. We knew exactly what we wanted to do and got it knocked out. And, and when we were through, we said, okay, this is, this is a song now. Oh, let's play a clip of that. Which clip? Uh, Southern Not Stupid. I think it's the next one. Yes. Since the birth of our nation, the North has been dumping on the South. As the country grew, so did the stereotype of Southerners. Eventually, Hollywood produced things like Dukes of Hazzard, Beverly Hillbillies, Deliverance. The country actually viewed these as documentaries about the South. Well, enough is enough. I'm here to tell everyone that we are Southern, not stupid. And that's more than just a statement. It's an attitude. At the first hint of snow, there's a rush on milk and bread. We can't drive in it, so we close our schools instead. But six months a year, y'all are snowbound. So we can play golf here the whole year round. We may talk slow. But our cooking can be beat We've got good manners And our tea is always sweet It's a different way A life can be disputed Cause we're southern Not stupid We love our sports Especially football The NCAA Always rules the fall well, you got Big Ten, Pac-12, and Big East, but the SEC is always the beast. 3 a.m. we hit the crystal with 
no hassle When you're drunk late at night Y'all storm the White Castle We got ours and you got yours We could do this all day But y'all got nothing on Chick-fil-A We may talk slow But our cooking can be beat We've got good manners And our tea is always sweet It's a different way of life can be disputed Cause we're Southern Not stupid Drink a pair so that was Daryl singing it, doing the instrumentation, everything. It was very, and you popped it out really quickly. Yeah, I just played drums on it, and, and Tommy Strain on guitar, and, and Marty Kearns. Um Yeah, yeah, it's um, it, it's not a very complicated thing to do yeah, in the yeah. process, but I'm I'm real at home in the studio. Okay, so you're working on a movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what I'm doing? Uh, do you remember the movie uh, Red Dawn? Yes. Oh, yeah. Patrick Swayze. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, then. I'm doing a rebooting because I think it's time for a, because there was another version of Red Dawn that I didn't feel good about. Right. And uh, I love that movie so much that uh, I thought it was uh, timely now to do. And what I have now is they're going back and uh, they're getting revenge for the Bowling Green Massacre. Right. Which right. We've heard of. The Bowling Green Massacre. Right. <laughs> we've heard about. And instead of Red Dawn, we're calling it Orange Con. Okay. And uh, so, you know, you know, they would holler, Wolverine! That was their battle cry, so we're going to holler, Tangerine! You know, right, kinda, right, right, you know. Right. And, and so, you know, uh, Russia was an adversary in, of course, the original movie, but now, you know, with the, the bro rom bromance that's going on, um, Russia is our friend, and they're helping us fight to take Bowling Green back, and they're actually shooting muscles from uh, missiles from their base, which of course is in Little Rock, Arkansas. Right. So, uh, because you know we've established a, a and, and so we feel really good. About, and and I have an agent that's uh, floating some names. Yeah, and, yeah. Who's going to be in the movie? Well, we're not sure yet, but I, the people that we're looking at, and there's going to be more, and we're just not sure. We haven't talked to them yet, so we got to find out what we're going to do. But Kirk Cameron. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, Facts of life. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. We got we got some big names. Tony Danza. Wow. Tony Danza. If you're asking who's the boss, he's getting up there. Yeah. Tony. Tony's the boss in the movie. He's right. Gonna, right. He, if we can get Tony in there, he will be the boss. He will tell people, "You go there. You go there. No, don't do that. Right. Right. Come on in. Right. You know, right. he'll give all the hand like football. Right. You know? Right. Right. Um, Tony Danza. Dustin Diamond. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Does, it doesn't he's get been in a little trouble. Well, well, he is, but you know, he's got passion. He's he was an a actor. stand-up comic. Uh, well, uh, yeah, we're going to debate that. And <laughs> Mark Price, yeah. Skippy from Family Ties. Does it get much bigger than that? No, come on, no. come on, come no. on, come on, come on. Now, Scott Bale. Scott Bale, uh, he he was up, uh, um, you know, doing the, his bit for the uh, for President Cheeto. And uh, I think I think Scott, and that's uh, C H E A T dash O Cheeto. Uh, Scott Bale, I think, is a, a, a force to be reckoned with. Uh, Joni and uh, loves Chachi. Yeah, yeah. He's so, he's done. He's got a he's got a, a fine resume. So he's someone I really want to talk to. I wanted to get Paulie Shore, but I think he's out of my price range. Paulie Shore. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a long time. So, yeah. so when are you going to get this movie? Do you have uh, backers of this movie at this point? Uh, well, we're going to be doing a GoFundMe Kickstarter. Uh, uh, I think that's uh, that's one of the things we're discussing. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, I know a guy. You know a guy. Yeah, I know a guy. Well, this is going to be a big hit. I Not think sure. so. I feel good about it. The Bowling Green Massacre, uh, more than anything else, I think there's a lot of merchandising to be done with this movie. Well, that's what it's you all know, about. The hats, the, you know, it's just like, you know, they have the Trump coins. Right, right. You know? And uh, so I'm, I'm hoping to have the, you know, I survived Bowling Green Massacre t-shirts, yes. ashtrays, spittoons, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, good luck in this movie. Thank you. Very, very good. Thank okay. You. Now, you also have a CD called uh, Teenagers in Heat that's yes, doing do. very, very well. Oh, yeah. I went double plywood. Yeah. Double, double plywood, double yeah. plywood, yeah. and you're gonna have. Let's play a clip. Uh, let's play a uh, video of this. Right now, right now, I want to bring those fucking hot pots in 
Good, and that's available. That CD is available on. on uh, yeah, you can go uh, iTunes, Amazon, uh, any place, wherever the kids are hanging out on their computer. And not to mention, if there is an independent filmmaker who would like to use Daryl to make some music for their movies, where do they get in touch with you? Um, well, my website is music-comedy.com, and you tell that to people, and they go, uh, "How you spell dash?" <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's music hyphen. How you spell hyphen? Uh, music hyphen comedy.com. Okay, very good. Now, right now, you want to play a song? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, I, I have to do a little setup here. As you know, and a lot of people I know, Al knows. Uh, I before I became a musician, I was a uh, a pretty respected anthropology uh, professor in right. a well-known uh, university that works for this joke. And uh, the deal was, <laughs> the w deal was, uh, uh, during the election, uh, we were going out into Arkansas and other um, uncivilized places, and I. Um, uh, did some research and there was a missing tribe and we actually re uh, researched uh, the Latin name of course is uh, Decus Erectus and uh, we discovered that the tribe was alive and well during the election and so I wrote a little song about it and I'd like to do it for you okay okay and I'm only gonna do a little bit of this song and I may even stop in the middle of it depending on how my fingers feel okay. it, I just got this a few weeks ago it's okay. a ukulele and okay. of course you know I'm, I'm better at sousaphone here we go okay. <laughs> Don't be kind or waste your time on assholes They'll say things just to bring you down Joy is something they can only read about And that's one thing you can live without 
assholes driving your car you won't get far there's an asshole he'll cut you off cause that's what assholes do traffic's backed up way behind there's nothing on his mind just an asshole without a clue everybody <laughs> So unaware, without a care, he's an asshole. He speaks asshole so very fluently. And he doesn't give a damn, saying, you know who I am. Is this asshole you or me? Cause we're assholes, sometimes we're assholes. And assholes are everywhere. Thank you, thank you. A, a good old friendly, family-friendly song. Thank very, you. Very good. And thank if you would like more songs like this for your movies, just get in touch with Daryl Rose. <laughs> or your bar mitzvahs. Or whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> thank you for tuning in to Hollywood South. Turn in with a month when we don't know who will be on, but they will be here. Thank you.